walking around the show and I, I see these two guys and they were dancing like they were dancing the other night at the party. So um, I stopped them for a picture, but they said they were going to dance for me. So uh, I said, I, I, we need to have the camera. So I can, let, let, what do we, what I do mean, we, yeah, there was a lot of beer. There was, there was a lot of beer. It was too much. It was a good time, though, more or less. Did you, so so what what are you doing here? So tell me about your guy. What's your name? What are you doing uh, here? I'm Iver, Where do you live? Iver no, I'm Hoven with uh, Barefoot Coffee Roasters located in San Jose. And we have a cafe in Santa Clara. Uh, we just drove down here on Friday without really a plan or rhyme or reason. And uh, true, true. our boss, or my boss saw us and he was like, here, go to work. And we've been drinking and working ever since. So I've been at... You were drinking coffee. Yeah. A lot, yeah. Of, a lot of everything. A lot of everything. There's been a lot of consumption. Yeah. Um, I, I, my name's Justin. I actually live in Massachusetts. I, I love all the dancing. I'm just a home roaster. We're still dancing. I'm going to stop now. Is, <laughs> so wait, what? You're, uh, you I, said, I'm just a home roaster. So. Oh, Which don't I'm, say I'm just a home roaster. Right, Tell me about home enough. roasting. Home roasting is, is not as easy as one might think. Okay. Dance because... Uh, well, for, first of all, I have a series of popcorn poppers and a small home roaster, okay. and I can only achieve so much with uh, <laughs> with uh, with my home home roaster <laughs> and my popcorn poppers. So I, I come here and I'm tasting all these different flavor profiles. Okay, like, so you're damn. you're telling me. Okay, you're talking to someone who does not know a lot about coffee. Okay. So can you tell me what you're doing with the popcorn popper? Popcorn poppers are <laughs> air poppers. Just hot air, yeah, yeah. just hot air popper, and it's you, you know old school popcorn poppers. Okay. Yeah. And they blow up your popcorn and get more, right? Okay. So same, same idea, except <laughs> obviously the beans are not popping. They're just roasting. Roasting. And, and the reason why it's so much more difficult is because it's uh, roasting the coffee extremely only Very by um, <laughs> convection and not conduction. Right, right. Um, usually in a roaster you'll have um, percentages either like 80% um, convection, 70% convection, 50% convection, um, where the beans are actually cooking each other. Uh, ah. They're rubbing against okay. each other. So in this situation, the beans are actually, they're not spitting in the drum. They're being blown up out of a chute onto the outside. Uh -huh. They don't have that much contact with each other. So they're not really cooking each other as much. Got it's it. more so the hot air that's cooking. That's so, really, that's something new. I learned something so it's, new. So it's very unpredictable. It is. In a lot I'm, of losing, I'm losing a lot of flavor doing it that way, but, but I have no choice. So, okay. But I, I would prefer to roast my own coffee. I mean, it's, it feels more connected to, to the... The actual consumption of the coffee. It's, it's a long ritual to do. It is. Now, there's a guy on Twitter I know. Okay. There's a guy on Twitter I know that's a pan roaster. He pan roasting is something I've done. Okay. 20 minutes, stove top, 400 <laughs> to 500 degrees, if you have a little uh, thermometer in there. You stand there. That's all spinning it the whole entire time. It develops arm strength. It's like, really. it's like making Because uh, you're just doing this the whole time. For 20 minutes. It's like cooking arboreal rice or something. For, yeah. Uh, you can't stop. You stop once, you scorch the bean. <laughs> for two seconds, you completely destroy all the flavor, you develop roast, no inconsistency. Too much complexity, if that makes sense, because it's just under under roasted, over roasted, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a workout. But pan roasting is very difficult. For anybody that does pan roasting, you're badass. His, you're name, badass. Is, his name is um, his name is Barista on Duty. Yeah, Barista on Duty at at at, twi uh, at Barista on Duty on Twitter. Is, is dude here? Uh, no, he's not here. But he's um, I want to say he lives in like North Carolina. He's very cool. He's he's uh, been uh, awesome. he's he's been very supportive. I, I work for a company called Tambourou. It's the it's the French press uh, it's the French press mess solution. I make hundreds of cups of coffee a day. Cleaning out hundreds of French presses is not fun. Fair enough, fair enough. If you have a good solution, I'll be interested in, in I'll seeing show you. it because uh, pour over, I like. You pick up the filter and throw it away, you set another one. Done. I'll show you, I'll show you the tambourine. Show me, yeah. I will. Alright, I'm gonna show you right now. Alright. Okay, thanks for talking to me. Bye -bye.